Texas women's basketball in a big time matchup on the road in Knoxville. Number eight Longhorns taking on the number four volunteers and Texas did not disappoint. Talked about the young players. Freshman LaShawn Higgs exploding in the second quarter where she would score 13 of Texas's 16 <laughs> points. Finished with 18 on the night and she would help the Horns jump out to a 29-25 lead at the half again on the road in Knoxville. Not an easy place to play. On to the second half we go. Third quarter. This time it's Brianna Taylor finding Brooke McCarty from she the didn't corner. Miss much. And she didn't miss nah. there. 34-26. But how about the sister of Delino DeShields Jr. on fire in this okay. one for Tennessee. Keeping the volunteers in it makes it a five-point game moments later. Selena Rodrigo, 39-31 Texas, but the Shields wouldn't let the Vols go down without a fight. Back to a five-point contest. Less than four minutes to play. Higgs responds with a dagger. Wow. Texas goes back up by eight. The Shields, could we have more? Three of her 24 points <laughs> were back to a five-point game. 2.45 to go. Kelsey That's Lang fast. underneath and one. The Horns go up 45-37. This time it's Amani Boyette finding McCarty from the corner. And we move on to the final quarter of play. Tennessee down 52-41, but Andrea Carter responds. It's a 52-43 game. How about Imani Boyette off the McCarty miss down low, 56-47. Just over three minutes to play in the contest. DeShields again gets the end one. We're back to a six-point game. 36 seconds remaining. Texas hanging on by five. When Rodrigo comes up with the steal, nice she's play. fouled. And Texas upsets the Volunteers 64-53. Higgs would score a season-high 18 points as Texas records a second straight victory in the series against Tennessee for the first time, by the way, since 2004. McCarty added 12 points and seven boards in 38 minutes. And head coach Karen Aston knew that not only playing the number four team in the nation was difficult, but playing them in Knoxville she knew that would present a major challenge for Texas. It's a really good win, and, and we talked before we came up here, and I think I talked to you guys about how we needed we needed a test, and we needed to see you know what our strengths and weaknesses were. And I, I think that it, we weren't a very good road team last year, so it's one thing that the players really focused on during the summer and when the, we set our goals at the beginning of the year, which was we we would obviously have to be a better road team. And I, I'm proud of them. I thought I thought we played hard, uh, not great at all. Uh, ugly at times, but I did think we played hard. One player I, I've got to ask you about, and that's <laughs> LaShawn Higgs. You said she, when she comes in the game, something's going to happen. You're mm -hmm. not always sure what that was. but and I I'm guess, still not sure. But you're probably happy <laughs> about what happened today. Well, I thought she really gave us a spark in the first half. We were a little stagnant, uh, couldn't get things going, and she obviously came in and hit a few buckets quickly, and she kind of relaxed everybody. The thing that she does do is she competes, mm -hmm. and she's, she's a, a – she hunts baskets, and that's something that we've missed on our team is a guard that really wants to hunt points. And the Longhorns are right back at it against another top 10 team when they play host to number nine Mississippi State on Wednesday. These two teams are actually tied for eighth in last week's poll before Texas jumped to six following the win against Tennessee.